Hello. So day five, a little bit more. I've been talking to people on and off all day, as you can imagine. And I just had two really sad conversations that I wanted to share with you um, for completely different reasons. One was a guy just came up to me and he told me about the fact that his girlfriend was sexually assaulted at her job. And when she went to her boss um, and said, you know, this man sexually assaulted me, the boss said, oh, I'm sorry, there's nothing that we can really do. And we, we want you to understand that you really should just overlook it because he was drunk at the party. And also, um, his dad is really high up in the company and so that there's, there's literally nothing we can do. So you just need to essentially be at work with someone who's prey dated on you. So as you can imagine, that was intolerable. It was, a, it was an environment that was tremendously traumatizing. And so she ended up having to leave her job. And that's kind of the story over and over and over again that happens so many times to people who are sexually assaulted is because of the culture we live in today, it's the victim who ends up having to leave the situation or change things. So I just wanted to share that with you, that this is happening all over, every day, all the time. And that's why I'm encouraging everybody to think about this topic, everybody to look for it, and for everybody to look at it as our duty to protect each other. And then the second conversation I had was kind of fascinating. It, it actually makes me feel really bad. And that is, this gal comes striding up to me and she says, hi, you know, I'm the person on campus that everybody deals with on this issue. And I want to let you know I've been receiving texts all day about your signs. I said, oh, okay, that's good, I guess. And, and she said, what do you mean by think, look, protect? And I said, well, it's a general message to everybody that we need to think about this difficult subject, that we need to look out for it, and that we should all be protecting each other rather than thinking about you know, the police or other entities separate from us as being what will stop this epidemic. And she said, oh, well, in that context, that seems okay. And I said, well, <laughs> how, how, how else could anyone interpret it? This, this sign is, you think, look, protect. It's just general. I've been using this in the Bay Area all over the place. I haven't had anyone think anything weird. What's wrong with it? And she looked right at me and she goes, well, the reason I'm getting texts all day is because a lot of women on this campus are interpreting it that you are blaming the victim. And that, and that what you're doing is you're saying that women need to think, as in about their behavior, that women need to look out for sexual predators, and that women should protect themselves, like she said, for instance, with mace. <laughs> and I said to her, that is like the saddest thing I've ever heard, that you would think. Because do you know what that says about your culture? Do you know what that says about the culture and atmosphere on this campus? That it is so hostile to, to women and to people who have been sexually assaulted, predated on, or raped? That, that Because that's a cultural interpretation, meaning you guys are deeply reading in like a basically really horrible message. And number two, these women aren't empowered enough to come right up at me and to confront me? I mean, if, if, if I saw some chick standing with a sign that's like blaming women who get assaulted for for the situation, I would go right up to that woman and say, what are you doing? And I said, what kind of culture here that you have women that are just texting you that, that aren't even doing that? And she said, look, it's just the way things are here on the campus. And so they've asked me, you know, essentially, as she said that she's a person that speaks out on campus on this issue a lot. And that that's why she was essentially taking it upon herself to find out if I really was evil <laughs> and, and out here as some sort of victim blamer, micromanaging the way that people behave in public as though that has anything to do with them being responsible for a predator's behavior. I mean, honestly, I just, I vacillate between being angry, like give me someone to hit, give me someone to be, you know, because all of those women have obviously been, been hurt and traumatized and, and have damage that they would read this sign and read into that. You know, again, I've been all over the place and, and I haven't had one woman, one man, one anything uh, realize that this is anything other than an incredibly general message of that's designed for all of us. It's a call to action. And, and what I said to the gal is, look, I didn't say like women 
you know, like to you, and I'm standing here in front of a amazingly mixed group of people, right? Even age-wise, culture-wise, you know, all of that. So, so I didn't single anyone out, which I'm, I'm asking all of us to think about it. I'm asking all of us to look out for it. And I want us all to protect each other. And she goes, yeah, great message, but by the way, not coming through on this campus. And I just thought, wow, things are pretty bad here. So I'm going to interact with her and just essentially offer my voice, see if there's anything I can do here to help in a positive way, and, and hope that the larger message, that we can change our culture one person at a time, uh, does get through. So those are some of my stories for today.